I always get inspired by other artists' awesome work and the gadgets they use. I usually get intimidated and amazed at the same time, especially if I want to follow and study their process, their work area, their gallery, and toys. But when I check our local friendly store for these items, imagine the horror. Have I got a solution for you? The the light controller. controller. Hello there fellow artists and enthusiasts, and welcome to the Scribble Media. Today, we're going to show you how to use the 8-bit dual light controller as an express remote for your clip studio paint. So let's get on with it. Manga artist has a tight deadline of one week per issue. To compensate for the time frame, they need a fast workaround process. And some mangakas use express keys or tabmate remotes for their display tablets to speed up their art design pipeline. But how can we ordinary artists afford an expensive gadget when we are still the beginning of our art career? Behold, 8 bit dual light controller. Lightweight, small, can fit in your hand easily, and cheap. Link in the description below. There's a smaller version of this controller, the Zero Two version. But I prefer this one, since it has more buttons to play with. And you can also use this for your gaming break time. This controller is wireless, detects on Bluetooth. If your PC has a built-in Bluetooth receiver, then there is no problem for you. But if you have an old motherboard okay. like mine, it doesn't have a Bluetooth receiver. Then you'll have to purchase this. The 8-bit wireless Bluetooth adapter. By the way, this is not sponsored. Feel free to sponsor us, guys. It's easy to install. Plug in the Bluetooth adapter. Press the button on the underside. Then on the controller, make sure the switch is on letter X for Windows compatibility. And then press the home button. Then hold the pair button on the underside of the controller. The LED indicator lights up and will be moving from left to right. It means that it's looking up for the device to be paired with. Once the lights is on single LED bar, then that means it is connected. And we're getting go. You're ready to play your favorite games. What? You're here to work on your clip studio paint, right? Oh yeah! Now when using this amazing gadget with clip studio paint, you must have a third party app that can convert its input keys to keyboard inputs. You'll need the Joy to Key app. This app will emulate keyboard inputs to your controller. Since Clip Studio Paint shortcut keys are keyboard based, you can now easily remap it to your controller. First, go to their website at www.joytokey.net slash and slash and download the latest version of their app. After the download is done, Install the software. Later. Since I have already set my shortcut keys to my keyboard, then remapping the buttons will be easy. For a quick tutorial on how to set the shortcut keys on Clip Studio Paint, check out our previous episode. It is important on how you hold your controller in one hand, since it will affect the shortcut assignment on which button you press that you are comfortable with. I hold the controller this way, which I can easily navigate the buttons with my thumb. Once the software is installed, this will be the main UI of the app. Click on the button you want to remap to your keyboard shortcut by pressing Edit Button Assignment. Or just by double clicking specific controller button which will be highlighted every time you press the button. Then click the Keyboard Emulation Basic first box. Click the specific key on your keyboard that is an assigned shortcut for the clips to you paint. Now do this to all the buttons on your controller. Rinse and repeat. It has 22 buttons that can be used for remapping and now you can use 22 shortcuts. Once you're done, rename the profile to any name you like and save your profile by clicking File. Then Save. 
now your 8-bit Doom controller is ready to use. You can now speed run your art just like the Pro Mangakas. Now if you have an iPad Pro you can also use this controller as a shortcut remote. But not as versatile as the Zero 2 version where you can remap each button as shortcut keys for the clip studio paint. Instead, you can input the gestures to your 8-bit dual light controller. Yes, that's right, gestures! No, not that! iPad gestures! Groovy. Since the 8-bit dual light controller has no keyboard mode, the iPad doesn't have an app like the joy to key you can just use the gestures that you meticulously turn or move your iPad screens and shortcuts. Here's how to do it. First, you have to let the iPad detect the controller by going to Settings, Accessibility, then turn on Switch Control, then click Switches, then Bluetooth Devices. Then pair up with the 8-bit dual light gamepad. You then check in on Bluetooth devices if it successfully connects. Now set up your settings on the switch control. This is my setting. Scanning style, manual. Auto hide, 1 second. Move repeat, 5 seconds. Long press, off. Tap behavior, auto tap. Focused item after, first. Scan same key tap, off. Always tap keyboard keys, on. Extended predictions, on. Hold duration, off. Ignore repeat, 0.1 second. And I leave everything else as default. Now we're going to sign the gestures into the controller. Make sure the switch control is on. Then go to switches. Then add new switch. Then the source is external. Then click on your controller button and assign a designated name. Example, click up button on your controller and assign it to up. After that, assign the actions as stop scanning. Now assign it to the remaining buttons on your controller. Rinse and repeat. Once you're done, go to Recipes, then create new recipe. I named it 8-Bit Do Light. Assign a switch, then assign a button that will designate to a specific gesture. It will be at your own preference on which button you should assign the gesture. I started mine with button A, then click Custom Gesture, then apply the gesture on your iPad screen. This gesture is two finger pinch up, which in Clip Studio Paint is zoom in. Then add another switch. Rinse and repeat all the gestures. Once you're done with designing the gestures, turn off the switch control. Turn it back on to apply the gestures you've assigned. And then go back to recipes. Then launch recipe. And then click 8-bit do light. Now you can use the 8-bit do controller as express remote on your iPad. To compensate all the tools needed for shortcuts, you can just open the quick access window and set your favorite tools there. Now go make art like a pro. Ooh, yeah. It will take you most of the day to get accustomed to the controllers and express remote. And don't stop practicing! If you have any questions about the DIY device for Clip Studio Paint, then down below. So leave a like, share our videos, and subscribe. Are you ready to move?